Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, Google is providing you a golden opportunity to learn and earn with Google, with Google's apprenticeship program. And this apprenticeship would be started in March 2025. But for that, you have to apply this year only. The last date to apply for this program is 23rd of October. But apply as soon as possible. After watching this video, the first uh, task you have to do is, if you want to apply, if you are interested, go ahead and apply for that. So in this video, I'll cover everything like what is this apprenticeship program and how this apprenticeship program is different from internship program. There are two things, internship as well as apprenticeship. And in this program, how you can apply for this apprenticeship program, what is the eligibility criteria, uh, what type of, uh, you know, what are the, you know, selection process, what is their selection process, how many rounds, what type of questions will be asked, how to prepare for that, you will get stipend or not, right? This question, let me just answer this question first. Yes, you will get a very good stipend, don't worry, for this apprenticeship program, right? So everything we'll be covering in this video, don't worry. So first thing you must be, uh, you know, wondering about this, what is this apprenticeship program and how it is different from internship? There are two things. Internship basically and Google provide these two things, see, internship as well as apprenticeship. So internship are basically for those who are still pursuing their degrees, bachelor, master or PhD degree. And duration of internship program is generally two years or uh, sorry, two months or six months, right? But this apprenticeship program is for those who has completed their degree or just graduated for those means you have completed your maybe uh, graduation or post graduation or PhD program then you can apply for this program right and this program is generally uh, you know a duration of this is one year or two year so basically Google provide apprenticeship in four areas I mean in India in Asia Pacific region so see this is a program basically uh, this will provide you opportunity for work and study so you will get proper training as well and you are going to work on projects as well with the team with the those members of google and this is not online you will be uh, you will be going to their office google office whether it's in bangalore hyderabad i think pune and gurgaon so you have i think four uh, locations you can choose you can give you can choose from these uh, four locations okay now you will work and as well as you will study. So I think that's a good opportunity. So basically Google provide in four areas, these Google analytics apprenticeship. It is of 24 months, digital marketing. This one is information IT and software development. Okay, this is, let me just show you first. Don't open this. It is for one year only and remaining are for two years. And one is in project management. Right now, Google is providing apprenticeship in software development. So this this is the program here, which is open. Software application development apprenticeship, March 2025. You can apply for this. The locations are like Bangalore and Gurgaon and I guess Hyderabad and Pune, these four locations. But when you're going to uh, fill the application form, you will see all the locations and you can select your preferred location. Don't worry. But last day to apply for this is 23rd of October, right? So in this program, you will properly get, this is a 12 month program, I guess. Or oh, let me just show you. It is a 12 month program, but it is not a full time permanent opportunity for you. Don't consider it a full time opportunity after 12 months. Maybe, maybe you have a chance that you will get an offer from Google, but it's not guaranteed that you will get an offer from Google. Okay, fine. Now see, after submission of the application form and all the rounds, the interview round and all, so this process is going to take 18 to 24 weeks. So you have to be patient. This thing they have cleared at the very first and you have to complete your application form before 23rd of October, right? Now who are eligible to apply for this apprenticeship program? See the locations are Bangalore, Gurgaon, Hyderabad and Mumbai, Maharashtra, these four locations. You can uh, uh, share your, or you can check your, you can enter your preferred location while filling that application form. So minimum qualification for this is not currently enrolled in, means currently you are not enrolled in any degree. You have completed, if you have completed your bachelor's, master or PhD program, then only you can apply for this. Right? If you are recently graduated or you have like less than one year of experience. 
but for this program the good thing is it's not like that you have to be a btech if you are a bca bcom or bsc or ba any students from any degree can apply from computer science or electrical or related field if you are from electronics also you can apply computer science or electrical or if you are even from any other field you can try out you can apply for this right so it's not a foundation that you have to be a cs student for that or you have a btech degree only no any degree students can apply for this and the background or the field can be anything <clears throat> fine that's a good thing about this less than one year of experience in programming like at least in one programming language java c++ or python so you should have less than one year of experience not more than one year means uh, they prefer that if you are recently graduated then you can apply or if you have like previous year graduate then also you can apply but it's like that it's not uh, the thing that if you ha you are a graduate of for maybe 2 to 3 or 5 five years back you have done your graduation like maybe in 2000 it's 24 so in 2020 so if you are able to i guess if you are able to fill that gap in your resume then you have chances that you will be selected it's not like that only recent graduate have the chances right although they have mentioned less than one year of experience in programming right now because i'll show you the interview uh, what are the selection process the resume selection process that will play a crucial role right and if your resume is good and if you are able to you know uh, fill the gap or if you are able to what i can say like um, if you are able to justify the gap right with the proper skills maybe you have gained some skill during that gap you are still working you are still working maybe on some other internship or some project or some virtual projects or doing something you know work from home th these kind of thing so if you are able to justify that gap you can apply for that and definitely you have higher chances right i'll tell you the tips also who you know uh, who are going to have higher chances for this preferred qualification is this experience with google workspace or similar suite of productivity uh, tools you should have excellent critical and communication skills like this because they in the interview uh, they check these kind of things you are passionate or you are adaptable to learn like new technologies so they will check these kind of skills during interview now let me just tell you first the in selection process that thing we'll see so basically three rounds they have for this internship program first is resume selection and this is crucial one so you have to focus on your resume first for whichever internship you sorry apprenticeship you are applying right now the application development internship so according to that what are preferred qualification what are minimum qualification according to that you should add the things the keywords right if you have experience of working on some projects in your resume you have to mention projects at first or the if you have experience of working somewhere you have to mention at the very first experience rather than your education and all they want to know what you have done right the experience or the skills you have rather than like your education you have done btech or ba or bcom and you have this much of cgp and all this kind of thing doesn't matter a lot right now in this case your cgp and all right but the work you have done that matters a lot so please prepare your resume it should be a very good resume and only one page resume right mention all your projects your skills your certifications because that are going to play a very crucial role uh, for the internship for resume selection right and <coughs> please mention those i'm <coughs> sorry github and linkedin uh, profile portfolio on your resume maybe you have done some projects so you have to show you have some online presence presence of those those resumes so you can just provide the link so that they'll click and the your resume would be there so that would be a very good idea those students will be given definitely higher preference so maintain your linkedin profile as well as your github profile and add these to your resume that is a very good thing so after if your resume got selected right if you are lucky if you have a very good resume then there would be one online test and in this test that is basically like aptitude test so hardly like 30 minutes test and they last like maybe 14 15 question these kind of questions you will get 
verbal your reasoning logical reasoning these kind of questions you will be asked so that is not that very high level aptitude test it's easy one don't worry but you cannot copy the answer from chat gpt or from uh, you can say google and all because there is a timer right maybe a few seconds timer and you have to answer those questions in that time only limited time otherwise the question would be gone so you have to take care of this thing right it's not tough it's like easy to medium level don't worry then if you are done with this test then interview round would be there and there are generally two interview round one round one would be your telephonic interview right this i am telling you from the past you know experience of the students those uh, who got selected in these apprenticeship different different programs in digital marketing or in project management or data analytics right maybe you get face to face interview first so generally they are the uh, you will be you will be facing these kind of uh, steps or the, this is the selection process generally it may change and next is face to face so in this telephonic interview they don't ask the technical type of questions they just want they'll just check your behavior like they ask behavioral question if you are given if you are in a this situation then how you would behave they just want to check your strength your weakness your communication skill are you able to express yourself right teamwork skill so these kind of questions they ask like you will be given this situation how you would behave in this situation like this so that would be your telephonic interview it's not technical right so it is also not that much tough next is your face to face interview yeah in this case they may ask some technical questions or they will ask some technical questions related to the apprenticeship it means you want to apply you are applying in application development you are applying right now so related to, to that they can ask some question right so basic questions only not that much high level questions fine so you should have the knowledge of these thing whatever for whatever apprenticeship you are applying related to that like the qualification uh, if you are a bachelor in computer science so what are the core subjects for those subjects only uh, not that dsc hard questions or lead code questions no basic questions basic concepts of programming if you if you have uh, you know uh, mention your resume that you have knowledge or experience of java and basic knowledge of java basic question in java basic uh, questions of dbms maybe os networking that's it basic questions not that much high level questions in face to face interview round and this may generally take one hour right yeah obviously it's google so it, although it's not for the full time uh, work full time job it's for apprenticeship but still it's google so we can expect this much from google right it's going to be that not that much tough but not that much easy it would lie it between easy and hard right and after that you will get like maybe selection mail and all and then you can join right so like this this would be the selection process for this so now this is the golden opportunity for those who are already graduated and don't have that much technical skill in that field in particular field so you will you will be given training here i think 20 to 30% of your time would be given to training and then almost 70 or 80% you will be working on some projects right in a team proper you have to go to google office so i think this is a golden opportunity for you guys to learn and earn to work and study as well so you will be given a very good stipend as well don't worry the link you will get in the description box of this video you can go and check out if you are interested in this field you can go and check out so once you click on the link which is in the description box of this video you will be redirected to this page on the google careers page and you can check out all the details and all see and uh, there you will get an apply button so there we have an apply button see here once you click on that button you have to complete that application form so please sign in with your email or you can just create your new account see once you click on the apply button you will be redirected to this page right if after login after login right so there are three, four, five steps get started means first create your profile just your legal name your country code phone number and yes and yes this information and you have to submit your first the resume then you just submit your profile and continue 
then your career profile would be there you have to enter this your education and all your career profile then role information in google for which apprenticeship you are applying your preferred location and all then self identification then just review your form and apply that's it you have to wait for some time because generally you get the uh, reply within 15 to 20 days after each round if your resume is got selected maybe you get after 20 days almost the reply then your online test then after 25 or 20 days you will get reply so this process is going to take 18 to 24 weeks right in december or in january in december end or mostly in january you will get the notification if you got selected for the apprenticeship program or not and actually this would be started in march 2025 next year right so uh, i hope uh, you will find this video helpful for you guys so the link you can check in the description box of this video now that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care